Hi Leo, welcome to Lily Light Tarot. All right, so for my regular viewers and subscribers, today's message and spread is going to be a little different. I'm trying something different out um, that came through in my meditation. And today, Leo, you are gonna pick the message that you are meant to hear. So I have four groups here. I'm gonna pull up the four different images so you can get a closer look, but whichever message or whichever image calls to you at this particular moment there are underlying messages um, that you are meant to hear now i have already pre-shuffled and cleansed these cards i pulled them all out just to save some time for this reading but i don't know what they are so we're going to see them together and the i will have the timestamps down below as well so let me pull out the four different images leo now you can pull and click on multiple piles. You don't have to only pick on one. If this one calls to you and the second one or the third or all four, then obviously these messages are all meant for you at this particular time, Leo. So we are going to, let me show you the images. Pile number one, this is going to be, or I should say the group, the collective group here. This is going to be number one. Feel free to pause if you need some more time to look or reflect on these beautiful images. Okay, and then we also have right here, this card number two from my collective group number two, Leo. Beautiful imageries. I pulled all four of these in my meditation as well, so they were just randomly pulled. And then this is card number three for my, collect, my collective group number three. All right, and then we are going to go ahead and show the card number four, or my collective group number four here. I like how these little birds are kind of like hidden. This one is very intricate. I mean, they're all intricate. If you look at them very closely, you'll, you'll see hidden hidden things like these two people interacting this person looks like they have like a little dish almost looks like a lamp with the, did you see this cat that was kind of hidden but then there's also fish and these two birds and then we have the tree like all of these have something unique to offer if you look very closely did you even catch this person that was climbing up i don't know if I'm right here on the structure along with this bird and then for this second one, this person actually has butterfly wings. And then we see the butterfly here, like three butterflies appearing. And then this one we also have, do they all have a butterfly? Now that I'm looking at it. Okay, no. And then we have another butterfly appearing, but then we have this pair. They are walking through, but look, Right below them, you can see there's almost like this city or this town that they're walking. So each of these images have something unique to offer. But let's go ahead and begin, Leo. I'm going to, again, have the timestamps uh, down below if you would like to come back and review these. Let me know if these pick a cards um, are appealing to you. I'm making note of all the signs that are interested in this. I'm still gonna do your general over monthly overview, but let's go ahead and let me just set these aside. Let me move this here. We're gonna go with pile number one. For my group number one, Leo, let's see what cards uh, came out for you. So group number one for Leo. I used three different decks because sometimes, you know, there are like doubles that want to come through. Okay. We have, ooh, speaking of doubles, we're looking at double kings, king of cups, king of wands. We have five of wands, queen of swords. Oh, geez. Okay, another double. Another queen with the wands, queen of wands. Oh, great pairing here. Queen of, or not, oh no, yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Oh, very interesting. So we have three queens appearing here for you, Leo. Nine of Pentacles and two of Swords. All right, let's see, first message. Okay, let me take a look here. Um, King of Cups, King of Pentacles. Leo, I see in this group 
Uh, some of you, whether it's right now or in the upcoming week, I see you taking the initiative and being the, it's like you're setting an example. Like you are going to be setting the bar high or setting the example of something where you're holding like the highest standard. You are leading the way. You are leading the people. You are being some type of influence. You're guiding, you're managing, you're um, directing, okay? Because both of these king energies, they're very compassionate, very charismatic also very not only productive but what they're working towards they they have the other person in mind they have the best interests of the people in mind so leo i see it's like you are like again you're setting the example where people are going to be inspired to like be better or to act or to create better because of you they want to be more productive. They they feel driven. They feel motivated to work for you or under you or alongside with you. You may also be finding that your, your passion, like your deep, deep passion for something is putting you in a position to like lead the way or be some type of like industry leader or influencer because there's a lot of passionate energy that I see here. You know, if you think about like, I don't know, like influencers or artists um, or even at work, have you ever met someone that like really, really loves their job? Or if you look at influencers or, you know, YouTubers or even artists, right? They love what they do. And because they're so passionate about it, they inspire other people to want to like follow them or to create uh, alongside with them. So if you really love to cook, you may be, you know, starting your own cooking channel. Or if you really love to, um, like maybe you love to create with like your hands because this is like a very imaginative energy, Leo. And I see a lot of you, it's like you're doing something here where people are like looking up to you. They're like, oh, wow. I want to, you know, like I want to be like Leo. I want to, it's like very motivating and encouraging. Um, this is also a very good combination between like your emotional connection and your leadership qualities so something here is going to require you to be very understanding and like empathetic t towards people it's like you're balancing out your emotions with like your like your leadership you're not micromanaging but you're coming from a perspective like you're understanding what people want or what they need right so it's like you're working alongside the people versus in front of the people and that's what represents like a good leader right a good leader will walk right next to their team or um you know the people versus work like walking ahead or walking behind like they're walking alongside and that's what i see here uh with this first message leo is like you are walking alongside you're guiding someone you're helping someone you're like you know taking the the lead or the initiative i i should say uh, i wouldn't be surprised too when it comes to love you know, love relationships. I do see like a, a fire sign. I mean, you are a fire sign, but I see like another fire sign coming in here. So whether it's a feminine or masculine energy, this energy matches you is what I see here. For those that are single or like just start dating, I do see someone here um, that matches your energy. Could be also a water sign as well. Water signs are really easy to like adapt and sometimes opposites do attract, you know, fire and water. Um, or it could be someone in your past that was a, a water too that had a, an influence on you on um, like on your like next relationship or connection here uh, let me see let me see what okay when I look at the five of wands with the queen of swords this is very interesting because in this time there's some look out for a situation here again taking the initiative have you noticed this all this energy leo is very like high authoritative energy okay we have the double queens the double kings or oh, actually i should say triple queen because this queen of swords it's it's almost like you're going to be taking the initiative or being 
in control and in charge of a lot of things, whether it's in your personal life, your career, it could be your social life. I do see a lot of you Leos, like people are like, they lean on you, right? Like what would Leo do? Let's call Leo. Let's text Leo. Let's, let's ask Leo for their opinion. It's like, I see a lot of people like rely or depend on you, whether they are aware of it or not. And, uh, in this, in this group for this card, the five of wands and the queen of swords, Leo, there is a situation that is going to require you to approach it with like a clear, rational, and very objective mindset, okay? It's going to require you to use like very strong and direct communication to address some type of conflict or disagreement. Like come at it with the facts versus with your emotions, okay? This may have to do with work for some of you. Um, you know, there is this person or this group that's not really seeing eye to eye with what you feel could be better for the team or the department. Um, and you may need to use your like, you know, show the receipts, show your logical side, show the facts, show the data, like the, the data here because, or the data, cause they're, they're not seeing it. Like they're, they're not understanding how this could be better, how something can be managed better or handled better. And here it's like, you're having to like step in, step up and be that example here. Um, I do see here too, Leo, look out because in these upcoming weeks, if it hasn't already occurred, you're going to be some type of voice of reason to the situation. Okay. It's like, um, you're using your analytical thoughts and ability to cut through some type of confusion to bring more clarity to the situation. So whether it's at work or whether it's in your social circle, it could be even with your partnership, something here, it's like, you're, you're thinking rationally versus emotionally and you're like okay let me pull myself out of the situation and see it for really what it is and you're just having to tell the facts we all have that friend or maybe you're that friend leo we're like they tell us the truth even though we don't want to hear the truth but like we know the truth there's something here where i do see you leo you're like you're telling it as it is whether you like it or not you're like well that's the truth like this is what's really happening we need to address this so you're taking something head on. Um, this is also an indication that your communication of you being direct may be exactly what something or someone needs to hear at this time, because there could be someone that's afraid to be direct or tell them. And you're like, I'm just going to tell them <laughs> I'll be the one to tell them. Okay. Like you're going to be that voice of reason, so to speak. Now, as we look at the queen of wands, well, the double queens, we have the queen of wands and the queen of pentacles. Something here like with your ideas, your creativity is like, I mean, we're seeing like a lot of abundant energy because the queen of pentacles and then also the nine of pentacles. So like your ideas or your thoughts, it's going to bring in like more business or more success, more demand. Um, Something here like your creative energy or your passion could turn into an abundant resource. Okay, so harnessing your creativity, your charismatic qualities to achieve some type of great financial goal. A lot of you Leos are really good at making friends. You're really good at networking. You're really good at, you know, mingling and making small talk and socializing. Um, you draw in attention. So for those, like when it comes to your job or your work or your business, I would say by the end of this year, I do see that you may be in multiple situations where you're meeting people or clients and uh, building like meaningful relationships. Networking, I guess that would be the best way to put it. I do see a lot of networking taking place here. You're meeting different people from different backgrounds or different industries, could be different positions too, but they all hold like some type of same high tier level status like you. Like they're all CEOs, they're all entrepreneurs, they're all managers, they're all supervisors. Um, maybe they're all, you know, like in a mastermind group, they're all creators or something here where they're, they're on the same playing field as you so no one looks down on no one and um it feels more welcoming because you guys are like all on the same level so you can all share like the same tips and advice right like all the business owners can share advice all of the corporate leaders can share advice and opinions 
something like that is what I see coming in here. Hmm. Yeah, definitely take this time, Leo, for those that have personal hobbies or interests. I do see by the end of this, this year, you're like you're going to find that whatever creative outlet you use, there's there's like some type of demand behind it, or you're going to be like some type of mm, hype or representative for this. Hmm. So again, make sure you thumbs up this video so you can come back and see how these messages play out. Let me take a look. Okay, so now we have the Nine of Pentacles with the Two of Swords. The Nine of Pentacles with the Two of Swords. Something here too, because the Two of Swords, this is like deep contemplation. This is like really looking inwards to make an informed decision. There's something here where you're going to find yourself making a decision due to your financial situation, Leo. Okay, something here where you're realizing that you need to make some type of move in order to make growth happen or make something like resolve some type of situation. This could even be like having to decide between like two good paying jobs or having to decide on two situations that are just as valuable. Like you can't decide between these two houses, these two cars, right? Maybe there's something here where you're like, which one do I choose? Which one do I choose? So there is a, a big heavy decision or a crossroad where you're going to be uncertain about the best choice. And it does have to do with your financial security or some type of a like financial goal or again, something that you value. You're like, what do I do? It's a definitely a decision that's going to require your careful consideration, weighing out the pros and cons, okay? And some of you, it could be thinking about making a separation, like detaching, separating yourself, being independent too, because the Queen of Swords. So thinking about being your own boss, your own entrepreneur, maybe uh, being like a contractor, something here where like, do you separate yourself? or do you stay attached to something, the team, the department, the relationship, right? Do you do this thing on the side? Hmm. So, okay, well, and with relationships as well, for those that are, again, dating or in a new relationship, Leo, I would not be surprised if some of you are going to find that the person that you are going to be connected with, they are on the same frequency as you. They, there's a lot of like like-mindedness. You guys have a lot of similarities. You know, like they, there's not a lot of resistance. It's like you initiate some type of conversation or interest and they fall in line. Like, oh yeah, I like that too. Oh yeah, those are my same beliefs. Those are my same views. Though That's my same opinion, right? So there's something here that I do see like kind of like easing in. All right, so let's go ahead. We're gonna go with group number two. All right. Leo, here is group number two. Again, let me know if you enjoy these pick a card intuitive spreads. And I'd be curious to know which group, like which group are you or which one spoke to you the loudest, I should say. Maybe you don't know at this time. So again, feel free to thumbs up this video so you can come back to it and replay these messages. All right, let's take a look. Uh, let's see, we have the 10 of pentacles with the high priestess for group number two now with this powerful combination ooh, the high priestess she always gives me pisces vibes some of you leos may have been in a long-term like relationship with the water sign okay could be a pisces could be a scorpio cancer uh, i do see that where you're at at this point in your life may have been carried on through with like a water sign uh, not all but for some of you Mm. could it also be like from a mentor or someone that you really connected with like a friend that was a water sign but aside from that the ten of pentacles with the high priestess leo look out for this because your intuition there's something here okay especially because the ten of pentacles is above the five of pentacles 
there's something here where your intuition is going to lead you, if it hasn't already, it's going to lead you to something that's going to positively affect you with your generations to come. The Ten of Pentacles, I see this is like financial wealth, stability, generational wealth, okay? And all it takes is one smart move or one direction that you take that's going to set you and your family up for life. So if you have an intuition to like start that business, if you have an intuition to create that product, if you have that intuition to join this, you know, company or corporation um, or move in this particular environment, something here is like, it's going to affect you. It's going to affect you now, but also like, you know, in years to come for some of you. Some, um... Pay attention, okay? Really, I can't stress this enough because this high priestess, she's giving very strong energy. Pay attention to that gut feeling or your intuition because there's a lot of inner wisdom that is going to affect your prosperity. Okay? Some of you may think, oh, it's just a phase. You're going through a phase. You're really interested in something, but I feel like this phase is going to turn into something solid and rooted. So if you're like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm into this hobby. It's a phase. Or, yeah, I don't know. I have this phase where I'm really into my, my gardening. Or I'm going through a phase where I really love to uh, crochet or, you know, do some type of mm, side thing. It's like, okay, well, maybe it's not a phase. Maybe it's just your intuition leading you, prepping you for your skills to create something solid. Maybe you love to work out. Maybe you love going to the gym, right? But it's like, it's prepping you so that way you can become a coach. You can become a mentor. You can become like a dietitian. And you're able to, you know, use what you have established and pass it down to your children, grandchildren, right? There's something here like you can pass down your knowledge to the community. But something here where the high priestess is going to lead you to some type of material wealth by the end of this year, okay? It's, it's leading you. It's giving, it's like, it's signaling. It's giving you clues. So look out for that. Especially, okay, especially here when I look at the five of pentacles with the knight of cups. Well, we'll get to that. Um, but these definitely play in with one another. Um, now that I look at it, wow, a lot of pentacle energy. One, two, three, four pentacle energies, okay. Some of you may be connected with the earth sign. Uh, we do look at Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let's see, Knight of Pentacles, and then we see the Two of Cups. Long-term committed relationships. Some of you are going to be finding yourself with the next person that you seriously get yourself involved with. It's going to be a long-term relationship. You're going to be with this person for a while, and... This person's gonna to want to commit just as much as you want to commit with them. For others, I also see that you and this, um, it doesn't have to be like a love partner per se. It could be like a friend, someone that you really, you know, like this friend is gonna turn into like your best friend or your new neighbor's gonna turn into like a really good friend. You're gonna be building something with someone here. Okay, like there's someone here, Leo, that you're gonna really connect with and they're gonna be in your life for a while. You're building something. You're building like a connection, a relationship, business ideas. Um, there's a strong bond. Hmm. For those, um, for, for those that are maybe not dating, or maybe you just started getting into dating again, Leo. Something here I see like slow and steady, like some of you are taking it slow, getting to know the person. Uh, maybe you've known this person for a long time too, because the Knight of Pentacles represents being on the road for a while and being very determined to get to the end. Some of you, you may have known this person for a while and now you're finally like get at this place where like you're becoming lovers. You've been their friend. Maybe you grew up together. Um, or again, it could be, hey, you were on this path of working on a skill for a long time. And now you are at a point where like you love this job and you're getting your like ideal position, your ideal career. Something here where it's like, wow, you've been on this road for a while and it's connecting and it's forming into something much, much deeper. But it's going to be very steady and it's going to be very reliable. You know, steady, a steady job you love, a steady relationship you love. 
something where it's going to keep you emotionally balanced. This could even be, you know, a hobby, something that you're going to find yourself committed to for a while. If it's like you guys found each other. Now, as we take a look at the five of pentacles with the knight of cups, um, I do see that some of you Leos have been experiencing, especially in this pile, in this group here, number two, you may, you've been going through some type of hardship. Okay. Some struggles physically, emotionally. Okay. You may have felt like isolated, like you were alone. Um, in this period of hardship and emotional struggle, there's, this could even be like financial struggle too. Again, there's like some type of like your knight in shining ar armor is like waiting for you at the other end, but you just have to keep going. Like as you keep going, you know, wake up, get through the day, get through the storm. And after the storm, you see there's a beautiful outcome waiting for you. The sun is shining for you on the other side. It's like you've made it. There's something just around the corner that's waiting for you to find and connect with it. Even though some of you may be going through like challenging times or challenging situations, there's still potential for uh, a romantic connection or like an ideal mm, partnership. There's also emotional support. Some of you too may have to felt like you've been struggling, especially like with your mental health um, or even, you know, physically struggling, like maybe financially. I do see there's some type of like help. Either you are seeking help, like you are seeking a counselor, a therapist. You could be seeking help through, you know, friends, mentors, family. But the point is you're very, very strong, Leo. And I, I love that I see like you not giving up. You're willing to put in the effort to see it through. And even though at that particular moment you may feel isolated, you know that you're not going to be isolated for long. Okay, there is that knight in shining armor waiting for you on the other side. Everyone's knight is going to look different. Look who pops up again. I just realized double. The high priestess and the eight of pentacles. Okay, interesting how like this is matched with pentacle and this is matched with pentacle so i would see this as a double sign here leo for group number two another message that's coming in is that um you may feel like your intuition is heightened some look out because some days you may just have a bright idea that pops up you might have a vision and you're like well that's crazy i just had a vision or i just had an idea i just had this burst of motivation or inspiration to do something but that's like it's going to be like part of a bigger plan so trust your intuitive insight and your inner wisdom leo okay because if you are, are feeling led to do a particular thing or to work on a particular particular project or to assist in some way it's all for a bigger purpose Okay, it's all for a bigger purpose to get you to achieve a certain thing, to work on your personal growth, to master your your skill, okay, to enhance some type of knowledge. It's all part of like your training. <laughs> like your samurai training. It's all part of your like your 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 um schooling, your life, your physical worldly in this realm, like you're meant to learn something in this world to get you to the next level. All right. And sometimes you don't see it at that time. You're like, why did I have to have that stupid job? You know, why did I have to put up with that person? It's almost like, okay, well, you were meant to meet that person because that person's going to introduce you to so and so. You're meant to have that job because that job is going to help your resume to get you to the next job. So it's something like that. All right. Um, so we're looking here at pile number three. All right, Leo, my group number three. Again, you are, you know, welcome to watch all four groups. You don't have to only limit yourself to one group here. And let me know if you guys enjoy these intuitive pick a card spreads that I do something fun and different. It came through in my, um, meditation and I felt intuitively led to kind of do this for you so I'm making a note of all the signs that enjoy this let's take a look here your first 
message pairing. We have four of cups, nine of pentacles. Hmm. Something here. This is interesting. This is a very interesting pair. I don't really get this often in this situ in this um, positioning. But Leo Spirit is saying here, like, be grateful for what you have or be thankful. I should say be thankful. Be thankful for what you have at this particular time. And it's not to say you're not grateful, okay? So don't take it the wrong way. But there's something here where I do see, like, you, you're not completely satisfied, okay? There's this feeling of dissatisfaction um, or you feel like you're lacking something. And... With the Nine of Pentacles, it's like re focus on the blessing that you have in front of you because the more you focus on this blessing or the, the more you focus on what you have versus what you lack, it will get you to the next level. Okay, so appreciate some type of abundant experience in your life and recognize that you do have the power to manifest further success to get to your personal happiness so don't dwell so much on oh i wish i had more money oh i wish i was in love oh i wish you know i lived in this area oh i wish i had my own business it's like okay instead of focusing on what you don't have focus on what you do have i'm so grateful i have a job that pays my bills and that i have extra money to then invest in my side hustle i'm so thankful for a supportive partner that allows me to work on the weekends on my side business or if you're single right it's like you know what i don't have a relationship right now i'm not in love but i'm so thankful for me for what have i what i have achieved and the value that i'm going to bring to my future partner and someone that's going to be really value or appreciate me right it's like the more you focus on the positive you start to attract positivity and you start to attract what you are looking for because just like with the law of attraction whatever you focus on grows so if you focus on the lack it's going to magnify if you focus on the growth it's going to intensify okay let's see speaking of um the growth i love this ace of cups with the hermit speaking of love some of you leos are definitely going to be finding like true or like abundant love it's something like you have been wanting like there's some type of connection here that you're like i've been looking for this connection i've been looking for like this type of love or this treatment and it may have been a while you've been on this road for a while but leo i do see you coming across it some of you may be finding it together you and your partner are finding something that you both enjoy um together i'm also seeing some type of mental health awareness okay with the hermit this taps into wisdom so a lot of you two are finding i don't want to say a cure but it's almost like you found something that brings happiness to your heart whether it's a person okay it could be another person that you're like oh my gosh i'm so glad i found this person they bring so much love and joy into my life it could be a, a, a pet okay like you adopted or you have a new pet in your life maybe it's a friend maybe it's a hobby but there's something here that i do see there's a connection you found something or you're going to find something leo that really brings out this emotional happiness it opens up your heart and it also um it has a profound effect on you it's like rebuilding your your reality you know like it's rebuilding your world hmm. Okay, let's take a look at the Seven of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune. Um, this is interesting. Don't be scared by this. <laughs> but in this group, for my group number three, all right, Seven of Swords, Wheel of Fortune. Some of you, now these are four separate messages, okay? So maybe not all of them may resonate and not may, all of them may happen all, all at once. But I do see that some of you are going to come across mm, news or some type of truth where you're realizing that something wasn't told to you fully. I guess we could call it a lie. <laughs> um, it, it's basically like be prepared to change, be prepared for circumstances to change due to you coming across the information that was withheld from you. And the best example I can give 
is like maybe your company knew that they were going to go under maybe your boss knew that everyone was going to get laid off but they didn't tell anyone until like the day of right something like that something like that where you're told last minute or you're told through the grapevine and you're just like what the heck and you're just having to take what you know and leaving as soon as you can but also adapting so the situation in your life it's subject to change okay and circumstances can shift (laughs) surprisingly unexpectedly so this is a great reminder that life is all about the ups but also the downs and sometimes the truth of the reality is you know not everything is told to you directly but you have to kind of make do with what is presented but that's the thing about you leo you're very strong okay like you if there's a way there's a will And if there's a will, there's a way. So just be ready to adapt. Some of you are going to have to adapt to a new lifestyle, a new industry, adapt to new business ideas or techniques. Be ready for change. There's changes in the dynamics too. And some type of truth is going to come to light. I feel like this is going to happen, you know, very, very soon. Some of you are already sensing it with the cup energy it's like intuitively some of you are sensing it you're like i don't know I, I i already feel something's off whether it's with work it could be with a relationship it could be something here just like with the world and you're like i don't know something feels off something feels like it's going to happen and it's like you know be prepared use what you have but also be willing to adjust versus staying stuck I'm also seeing here to be very cautious in situations where um, trust or like integrity may be at risk, okay? Some of you are realizing you can't trust who you thought you could trust or situations aren't as strong and reliable as they made themselves out to be because what was once solid, it could be crumbling. So some of you, Leos, are having to adjust to a whole new situation in your life. Eight of Cups, Hierophant. Some of you have walked away from a relationship, possibly with a water sign. Uh, Some of you are possibly jumping into a relationship with a water sign. But I do see maybe some of you have found yourself separating yourself, maybe from a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. As I look at the cup energy, walking away, divorcing, separating, something being officially over, maybe with a water sign. It could also be a long-term relationship because there's eight cups. So it shows like a lot of like invested time have been in this, Leo. Um, For others, there's this, this is also... Some of you are just, you're wanting, you're seeking more. Like you're wanting more than where you're at. And it's interesting here because I saw like the four of cups too, right? It's like some of you, you're like, what else is out there? What, uh, there has to be more to life. There has to be more to my, my, my path. Um, it's like you're, you're questioning like the meaning, deeper meanings or spiritual meanings. Some of you are on a, like a spiritual or emotional like growth path you're seeing like deeper you know knowledge but this is all about like your personal emotional and spiritual like evolution a lot of you leos i see you turning away from something that you once believed in that may have been like traditional like maybe it was like your political beliefs spiritual beliefs your societal beliefs and you're just like hmm no i no longer believe that anymore like you're i don't want to say you're going rogue but also when we look at the hermit too it's like you are doing like your own homework you're doing your own research and you're like you know what you're not um you're finding like truth on your own like you're you're seeing the truth of the world or like hidden agendas or it's like you're being aware okay and notice how this person is turning their back towards the hierophant so you're no longer part of some type of like programming or initiation that you were meant to be connected to sometimes this does look like separation right divorce 
conventionally, traditionally, like you want to stay married, but you're like, I don't need to be married if I'm miserable. Some of you don't even want to be married ever or get remarried, right? It's something like that where you're like, okay, I know traditionally people are supposed to go to college or they're supposed to get married. They're supposed to have kids. They're supposed to own a home. But there's something here, Leo. I see that you aren't living a traditional or conventional life at this point for some of you. It's like something that you do is very non-traditional. You have a non-traditional career or job. Um, Maybe you, you know, get to work from home. To some people, that seems so non-traditional right like what you don't go into an office you're like no i work from home i travel um maybe like with your family right it's like a blended family so you have children or stepchildren or adopted children it's like it's something very non-traditional and you're like i don't care about the traditions i'm doing something like my way like it makes you happy um it brings meaning into your life and a lot of you leos you're doing something like the way that you live is very different (laughs) but it works for you okay It's, it's very different Hmm. But the, the that difference, it's all part of your story too. And again, a lot of you, you guys are really good like leaders, right? And your story, it may be encouraging other people around in your life that see that, hey, if Leo can do it, I can do it. All right. So we look at pile number four, group number four, Leo. Let's see what message is coming out here for my pile number four. I'm curious to know, comment down below what group uh you picked or that resonated with you at this particular time and if you do enjoy these intuitive pick a card readings because i am making note of which signs enjoy it to do more of these i may do one for november if you're interested again but um let's see we have the page of swords seven of pentacles all right here leo i see you um here you're very this is like a very curious state some of you are like watching, observing. I don't want to say you're stalking, but you're very, you're watching something or someone very carefully. And you're like, okay, how did they grow that garden? How did they build that business? How did they find love? Like, how did they move up in their career? There's something here that you're studying. You're like, how did they do it? Because you're, you're, I see you learning it too. And what's interesting on, on this um, energy, this card, these two people are like socializing. They're talking. They're sharing you know, they're breaking bread, they're sharing ideas, brainstorming. So I do see this coming in your path here where you're like talking, asking questions, doing research, and you're like, hmm, that's interesting. Curiosity has definitely gotten the best of you in a good way where you're evaluating and assessing your current situation and you're like, hmm, what could I do to be more like this or to gain a, like this? And you're like, hmm, okay, I can adjust my life here. I can adjust my finances here. I can learn new things here. And you're evaluating your progress and comparing it to something or somewhere that you want to be, which is to your benefit, to your gain. The page of swords is some someone young, okay? Not literally, but like in the, the, the study, the, the field that they're studying. They're a student of life, okay? They're like that new intern, like they're they're eager to learn and they are aware that there's so much to learn about what they want to master or excel in as we look at the judgment and the four of pentacles hmm, some of you this is literally saying like be prepared you know save your money or um stock up okay like conserve be very mindful of resources that you could use hold on to those because you may be able to benefit from having those like later on the line. Like if you have money saved up, you have more opportunities to do things. If you have more PTO, you know, saved up, you can travel. Something here where it's like save or invest your money wisely. And that's what I see coming in here. A lot of you are going to feel led to invest or save. Um, there's like this sense of like security coming in. You're like, okay, what can I do to make myself more secure? And did you, let me know, Leo, if you picked pile number, was it pile number, pile number one or pile number two? I think it was pile number two that like the high, the high priestess coming in like double. And then we have judgment. Something here where I feel like too, like your intuition is maybe telling you to do something like hold out or wait or, um, you know, hold on to that idea because it could benefit you in the near, near like months to come. So also, when I look at this, there's some type of positive change 
that's going to be coming your way. And with this change, it's requiring you to let go of how you thought it was going to play out in your life. It's like once you let go of what you think is going to work, then you allow things that are meant to be to work and play out. Hmm. Interesting. Especially with the judgment over the two of cups. Some of you too, it's like you you have a particular image in your mind of like who you're going to meet, who you're going to marry, how your life's going to be, how you're going to make money. But it's like sometimes if you just, how does that expression go? Like let go, let God, you know, let go, let universe. It's like if you let go and surrender, not to say like letting yourself go completely, but sometimes when you try to force something to go your way and it doesn't go your way, you have a tendency to like think you're flawed or you think like maybe it's not right, but maybe it's just being open to allow adjustments to be made. The Ten of Swords with the Moon. There's something here. Uh, the Ten of Swords, definitely some type of ending that recently happened. It could have been with a water sign. Okay. Uh, there's a cycle that has closed out po possibly with a water sign. A Leo, Scorpio, Cancer. Um, for others, Leo, this really... What did I say Leo again? No. Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. Yeah, okay. For others, Leo, the, the moon also taps into your intuition. Some of you, I, f I do see that you're, you knew something needed to end. And this is the confirmation to show like, okay, yeah, it needs to end. You need to quit. You need to resign. You need to let go. You need to move on. You need to look at how you can bring yourself out of this situation that's going to be a dead end and put yourself into a new situation. Um, some of you have been going through challenging times. Okay. And this is also a good time to confront your fears or your uncertainties um, and move beyond that. But this is really, it's weird that I keep getting intuition in my mind, Leo, because usually that happens with water signs. But something here, it's saying like, listen to your gut, listen to your intuition in these next two and a half months that we have or the remaining of this year. It's like, listen to that gut feeling. If you know something's coming to an end, why prolong it? If you know something's not meant to be in your life, why cling on to it, right? You're just holding up space that could be used to allow something much more meaningful to be held there. As we look at the Two of Cups with the Chariot, Leo, some of you and your partner, like if you are in a happy relationship, I do see you and your partner definitely agreeing to like move together. You're like, okay, yeah, I love it. Let's move in. Let's move away. Let's relocate. I'm also seeing that you and your partner are discussing, some of you are discussing, if it's not moving, it's like making moves, power moves together. Okay, let's build a business. Let's start a family. There's something here that you are both shaking on, you know, metaphorically speaking. You're like, I agree. Let's do this. Let's do this together. We're in on this together. You and your partner are on this journey for the long haul, like together. You're pursuing the same focus. For others, this two of cups, I do see an opportunity coming your way. Leo, that once you grab, it's going to take you far. This opportunity could, you know, everyone's cup is going to be different. This cup could be you are receiving. It's something that you are going to love connecting with. So whether it's a job, whether it's a hobby, whether it's a friend, whether it's a business opportunity, whether it's a client, something here, you're going to say, oh, this, this matches well with me and it's going to take you far. So this hobby is going to take you far. This client relationship, business relationship is going to take you far, okay? This friendship is going to take you far. Something here where it's like, this job is going to take you far. So you'd be surprised with who and what you're meant to connect with at this particular time in your life, Leo. Let me know which pile resonated with you. I'm curious to know. And if you'd like to see more of these... Um, more of these pick a card readings let me know i will read your feedback in the comment section i'm curious to know which pile resonated resonated with you the most leo and make sure you definitely subscribe and stay tuned for more bonus readings and until then stay well and be blessed